This is the Pacific Ocean. As far as oceans are concerned, it's definitely in my top five. You can swim in it, surf on it, or just stare at it and think about your place in the universe. One thing you might not immediately think to do with the Pacific is drink out of it. And yet, in the year 2016, that's exactly what the residents of San Diego County will be doing. We're standing here at the site of the Carlsbad Desalination Project, the largest seawater desalination facility in the Western Hemisphere. It will produce up to 54 million gallons a day. That's enough to, to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every 18 minutes. So it's quite a significant new water supply for our region. Everyone knows California is going through a serious drought and has been since 2013. But in spite of sitting next to 187 quintillion gallons of water in the Pacific Ocean, desalination has never been an obvious solution. Plants of this scale are common in Israel and Saudi Arabia, but here in the U.S., there's never been anything like it. Is it fair to say that Southern California now is facing some of the same kinds of challenges that places in even like the deserts of the Middle East were looking at sure. a few decades ago? This is a Mediterranean climate and uh, the way that Southern California solved their water resource issues historically was to import water. And that was available at the time and it's not as uh, reliable now. San Diego gets about 64% of its water from the Colorado River. 11 out of the last 16 years on the Colorado River have been drought uh, years. And so we like to say the low hanging fruit is gone. You've done all you can do with the existing sources to some degree, now you actually need to create new sources of water. That's correct. So this is where it all happens. Yes, we are in the reverse osmosis building. This is where we actually take out the salt from the water. This is how every major desalination plant in the world works. You take in seawater, run it through reverse osmosis, and you're left with 50% fresh water and 50% super salty wastewater, which gets re-diluted and dumped back into the ocean. This is also where the whole idea of converting seawater to drinking water starts to run into trouble. The reverse osmosis process requires a significant amount of pressure, and that pressure requires energy. We consume between 33 and 38 megawatts of power with the single largest power user in San Diego County. All that power costs money, and this is why seawater desalination has never really worked in the U.S we've always had cheaper water sources available. So the developers of the Carlsbad plant have spent about a billion dollars trying to make it as efficient as it possibly can be. One key part of that efficiency is this room full of orange tubes. The salty water that's leaving the plant is still at a very high pressure. So we run that through our energy recovery devices. And by doing that, we're able to recover about 40% of the energy used in the plant mitigating the considerable amount of energy that a plant like this does require. Correct. In spite of all this efficiency, desalinating water still costs about 30% more than importing it, which means San Diego water bills will go up when the plant comes online. And while generating 54 million gallons of water per day may sound like a lot, that's actually only 10% of San Diego's water needs. So if you ask, is desalination the solution to California's water crisis? The answer is, well, no. But it will probably be a part of the solution. As climate change makes dry places even drier, we're going to reach for whatever new water sources are available, even those that may seem impractical today. The future of California's drought is uncertain, but one thing's for sure. People will keep looking out at those 187 quintillion gallons of water and thinking, that could work.